Hi everyone, welcome to 2021. Today is the first Sunday of the new year and we warmly welcome you all to Lutheran Church of the Holy Spirit. As we prepare for a time of thanksgiving and offering, let us be reminded by the words of Paul in 2 Corinthians 9.11. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. Paul reminds us that the more we are enriched by God, the more we will be able to generously give, and the gifts we give continue to lead many to give him thanks. A friendly reminder that today is the first Sunday of the month and we will be having Holy Communion from 1045 to 1115 via Zoom. We welcome all EM members to join us after service today and we ask that you prepare the physical elements of communion and prepare your hearts by refocusing on God's promises of forgiveness and strength. As many of you may have heard, San Francisco's stay at home order, which was tentatively expected to lift as of January 7th, has been extended indefinitely. We continue to pray for the welfare and relief of the city. We also thank God that each and every one of you are safe. and We pray that in your homes, you can continue to seek God and grow in faith. Now for our time of prayer, there's a few things that we would like to uplift to the Lord in general. Early in our Thanksgiving Day service, remember I talked about the prayer seeds for 2021. And now I want to invite you to pray this uh, item during this whole week. The seed number two is for God to send us highly capable leaders and volunteers. And this comes, you know, inspired by Jesus himself. In Luke chapter 10, verses 1 to 2, he said, The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Since we are indeed scattered and sheltered in our own place, it's a great opportunity for us to be where the Lord is about to come into, the relationships with the people in our lives. So join me in this prayer for God to send out, out and send us highly capable leaders and volunteers, those who can proclaim his word, those who can serve the body in the church, and those who can carry on the mission of proclaiming the gospel. Let us be in prayer for this whole week for this one particular issue and also for the other ones too. We pray for this year as this year begins. We pray for our nation and for all the people in this world that there will be an end to hostilities and sufferings, that people may enjoy times of peacefulness and wellness wherever they are. And we know that this comes also because the word of God is being proclaimed into their lives. The other thing we be in prayer for is for our families and for our neighbors. Let us remember that everyone living in this world has been gifted the wonderful gift of life from God. And we pray for the spiritual life to be awakened and to be fruitful too. And we also pray for those who are suffering and hospitalized, who are living in shut in. We pray that you know, God will continue to speak and minister to them through the people who take care of them. And may God move us too to express this care. So please join me in prayer. Afterwards, we'll pray the Lord's Prayer. Let us begin. Gracious Lord, and we thank you for your word today. We thank you that we can take a look into uh, Jesus' teenage years, um, a glimpse that he knows his priorities and his values, that his life uh, in being about his Heavenly Father's business is paramount above everything else. Yet he still learned to live in humble obedience and submission to his earthly parents. May God uh, that move us um, when we look at our relationships, the ones with you, our fellow brothers, sisters in Christ, in our church family, and also in our natural families, uh, relationships, and um, relationships with our friends too. Lord, um, uh, move us uh, to ordain our time and our values according to yours. And so, Lord, we pray uh, this prayer 
that you ascend and raise up among us highly capable leaders and volunteers. Not just so that we can function as an organization, it's so that your body of uh, believers could be built up. Uh, Lord, we thank you for those who've uh, faithfully served in and out, whether on screen or behind the scene, in person, or even in, in quiet prayer support of loved ones. Lord, um, not that we're greedy, but it's because of your promise that you would send laborers into your harvest field. And so move us accordingly um, to be able to give uh, everything of who we are, you know, for the sake of your message, that more people would be touched and they would return to you. Lord, we entrust our family and our friends into your hands. We thank you so much that, you know, we can find ways um, to love them, even with so many uh, restrictions in society. And we know, Lord, uh, that your love transcends all those things. Um, so inspire us, uh, move us, give us that courage, uh, give us that little nudge, give us that voice um, to be there and to be your witnesses in the lives of our family and our friends. Lord, we also pray uh, for those who are, are uh, restricted or restrained and confined in the hospitals or care facilities. Uh, Lord, we know that um, it is not easy uh, with limited contact or not to be part of a, a day in, day out, everyday routine. Uh, so Lord, uh, we actually pray blessing for those who need to receive uh, special medical care. Lord, we pray for those who care for them. And so Lord, uh, move us too to be part of that um, as we support and care for um, many people in this world. And Lord, uh, the prayers in our hearts, we also entrust into your hands. Move us and shape us to be one as we pray the prayer which you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.